What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Deuce Mess. Today, we're back on the Plainsview Hardcore playthrough, uh, and we have lots to do. Richard is wanting his silage bales, and all we have is a small bale wrapper, so we've got to get back to that. It was a long night last night. Uh, we got a lot done, though, but uh, I got to call Jimmy and get him over here. I sent Ray a message at about 7 this morning. He sent me something back about 7.30. Uh, let's take a look at it here and see what he had to say. I'll show you guys. I sent him a message and told him I was wondering if he could pick up the truck and get it to his shop. Uh, and he said, uh, yeah, I can have someone pick it up this morning. Will be a service charge of 150 and 125 per tire to replace them. So 650 total. Will that work? I said, I reckon so. I don't have much of a choice. Thanks, Ray. I'll send the payment over. So uh, there we go. Uh, I've got to send him $650. And I guess at some point he's going to come pick up the truck. So uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe he'll get to that at some point. But uh, here we are. Uh, we got lots to do. Oh, let's send him that payment over real quick, I reckon. Uh, $650 uh, to Ray. There we go. Uh, $650 sent over. Maybe he'll come pick this up. I hope he does. Uh, maybe so. Anyway, we got to get back to Balin. We got to go check out the. Uh, we got to get the tractor out of here, too. Jump in there. Uh, our cows are doing fine, by the way. Since we slept, I didn't know how much we were going to lose. Uh, but check this out. Productivity is at 96%. We've actually got some milk. Guys, we got the first milk. Uh, not out of these guys. Those are the calves. Uh, we got we got our first milk out of here, which is really, really nice. Uh, and their health is at 48%. When we left off, it was down at zero. So this is good. This is really good. Slurry is at 152 already. So we may be looking for a slurry spreader at some point, too, to help us out on the grass fields uh, at some point. No time soon, though, of course. Uh, something about some... They have hoses or something you can buy at the store and hook to your slurry tanks. And uh, that way you can have a bigger supply out on the field. And I think we might... Uh, in the future, we'll look at doing that. But uh, that's a long way off. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we spent a bunch of money yesterday, 650 uh, this morning. Uh, so this is the month of November, uh, 650 this week on uh, miscellaneous, which was that's our payment uh, to raise. So we're gonna have to gonna have to fix that up here soon. And at least we at least it was only 650. It could have been way worse. It could have been way worse. But Richard is demanding his, his small bills. So I've got to get over here. Um, Call Jimmy, get him on site, and uh, one of these days he'll actually answer the phone. I left him a voicemail, told him what time to be out here. I haven't heard back from him yet, but maybe we will. Uh, let's get over here and get uh, get the harvester set up. Let's go empty the grain trailer, probably, and uh, we'll go from there. That's all I know to do at the moment. So, Whoa, car, just drive out in front of me. Uh, I am super happy about having a, uh, a sprayer, though, so that's going to be nice. We can actually spray our crops. That's going to be good. Uh, it's gonna make a world of difference, I do believe. Or a lot of different things. So let's head on over. Get Jimmy going, and then uh, we'll go jump on the uh I think we still have to rake that side, so we'll rake it and then we'll get back on the bailing and then we'll take this track back. We got we got a lot of back and forth to do today. Uh luckily Jimmy's gonna be working on the soybeans, so we can get that contract done, hopefully, and get Jimmy paid and get him out of our hair. And then we'll just be picking up bales for a while today, I think. So uh, how's everybody in live chat doing? The spider yet? Bob, how's it going? Celtic Moon, how are you? Good to see you. Um, we are we we are in for a another beltastic day, I do believe. Another beltastic day. But uh, it's a great great thing that Ray uh, was able to agree to come get the uh, the truck and, and get the tires fixed on it for us because that's a that's a problem. Although I have a feeling we're going to have to pick it up from the shop. So uh, I don't think he'll deliver it back over to the house. Uh, I wouldn't think so anyway. <laughs> He's already doing us a favor by coming and getting it. I don't want to I don't want to uh, accrue more cost by, by having him deliver it back to the house for us. But we can just run over and pick it up later. I think we'll be okay. Uh, but yeah, Richard had, Richard had already called this morning too. It's been a busy morning, been on the phone. Richard is wanting his bales. Um... So we got to get those done today. Like it has to be done today. We got to get it done. We don't have a choice. Nice November morning here. Uh, it it must have rained overnight. It was supposed to rain. It never did rain yesterday on us. So that's good. At least we can finish harvesting now. Uh, makes me feel better that we can get the harvest done and not have to worry about the rain coming in. 
Uh, if you're harvesting when it's raining, you're losing crops, so you can't do that because we got to turn in a certain amount to co complete the contract. So probably wouldn't even get enough to, to complete it or halfway to complete it if we were harvesting while raining. It's good to know. Man, that field has a bunch of weeds in it. Look at that mess. That's a lot. Uh, what's coming? Nothing's coming. All right, off we go then. Yeah, it's good. Good old Ray's gonna fix us up. Ray Kinsley. Yeah, there he's, I hear he's a pretty, pretty famous fellow around this area. I don't know what for though. We'll, we'll find out at some point. I'm sure. We'll find out uh, why everybody talks about Ray and why he's been around for so long. And everybody seems to like him too. That's a good thing. I mean, that means he'll work with you, right? That's a good thing for sure. If he's a nice guy, people seem to like him a lot. That's good for us. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Discord finally letting you know, Bob. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I guess the first thing we'll do is go ahead and empty the rest of the harvester. Uh, we'll go dump that load. It's going straight on down the road here, so it's not too far away. When we get done, we'll just loop back around the other side because uh, we may be able to cut across right here. Actually, that may be a better a better deal. Uh, and and I just thought about this too. As as cheap as it was for him to come get that truck and put new tires on it, we may order some wiring from him pretty soon and get these blinkers fixed. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just some wiring going to the actual blinkers themselves because everything else works. So the headlights work, the taillights break. Look at, I mean, brake lights work, so the blinkers should work. So it's got to be some. Oh man, he did a lot, guys. It was so dark last night. I didn't even know how how much he got done. I couldn't see a thing, and I know you guys couldn't either. So, um, but it was time to turn in. We were we were done done. So, um, it was well past bedtime for all of us, I do believe. Uh, especially Jimmy. Uh, I'm surprised he got as much done as he did. He's he's about. He's probably about 40% done, maybe a little more than that here on the field. So that's good. Uh, that means we can we can get him going again today. It's a fresh day. We had a few hours of sleep, uh, but uh, Jimmy should be good to go here, I think, for a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do all this before he gets here. That way we don't have to worry about it. We'll get the get the combine warmed up for him. Go ahead and get it emptied out, or as much emptied as we can get. Anyway, I'll come back and empty him when we get back. Uh, oh. See him pulling up now, so that's good. It's good timing, Jimmy. Good timing. We'll get him going in a second. All right. And he's headed over here so we can get him back in here and let him go. I reckon probably be uh, beneficial for time. Let him continue on what he was doing. There you go, Jimmy. Have at it, buddy. Uh, I'll check on you in a bit. I'm going to go empty this, and then we'll come back and uh, empty out a little more there. Well, this tractor does not like this weight back here either. It's tough on it. Um, we may be doing the wrong thing here. Let's go this way, I think. Back uphill, but it'll work. Uh, this tractor is not very big. 1,200 or 12,000 liters is is a lot of weight on this tractor. So uh, you can hear it struggling. It's it's pulling hard, but it's 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 on the struggle bus at the moment. And even slower. Yeah, it was so dark. I didn't realize how how uh, I didn't realize how steep this was right here. When we got it started on all this, that's pretty bad right there, honestly. <laughs> that's a that's a pretty decent size hill. We'll struggle up it though. Eight miles an hour now. All right, now we're picking back up, back on the flat ground. Back on the flat ground. Got me some coffee this morning. Good, good to go. That's a big field right there. That's a very large field. Very large field. Jimmy, I'll be back in a minute. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> he's in the harvester for a while. I don't think he's going anywhere today. All right, set to cruise and off we go. Where does this road right here go? 
pull up the let's pull up the old plane maps here. Oh, that loops around. That actually goes. What is this? Oh, that's the sawmill. That loops around to the sawmill. Okay, that's a good deal. It actually goes down here. Okay, it's by that field we mowed. Grain tank uh, nearly full, 80%. Of course it is. Of course it is. Hey, what's up, Evan Shade? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Jimmy's grain tank's almost full already. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Who would have thunk it? Who would have thought it? Uh, yeah, we can just drop off in that field there, I think. That looked like some pretty solid ground. Shouldn't be a problem. Nice waterfalls up there. I thought that was a radio tower up there. I'm in the trees. Get out of the, get out of the dang trees. Come on now. There we go. Thought that was a radio tower up there for a minute. That is not a radio tower. That is in the dang trees again. Come on now. That is a watchtower of some sort. Dang trees everywhere on this map, ain't it? There we go. This side ain't got no trees. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a radio tower. It is not. Definitely not. Uh, that's okay though. Uh, again, we're going. We're going. I'm gonna put in a petition to the county to get some, get some uh, auto steer towers put in for relays and whatnot at some point it's got to happen we've got we've got to be more efficient uh at some point in the future so we'll look at doing that maybe maybe around uh march or or april next year probably be a good time uh, get through winter time get our cows all situated and such and we'll go from there and it's bumpy right there this is bad bumpy right there. Alright, looks like we're over the grate there. We'll drop it off. Sweet. Drain tank full. Dang it, Jimmy. 21% transported. All right. I like our little pop-up notifications. Those are good. Those are good. All right, off we go again. We'll slow down over these tr these tracks. They're pretty rough. Hopefully, I don't see a train. We're good. Okay. Yikes. That's very rough there. All right. Off we go. Off we go. Come in. Let's go empty Jimmy out again because he is he's going to be... Oh, there was nothing coming. Now all of a sudden there's a white car there. Man, a white car comes out of nowhere. Every time, too. Every single time. Every single time. Don't know why, but it does. Every single time. Just pops right out of nowhere. Right in front of us. Right behind us. Alright, Jimmy. I'm on my way. I bet he is. I bet he is. Uh, I bet he's crop side too. I bet he is. Alright, we'll just pull off in the field with him then. Since he's only going to fill it. He's not going to wait on us to get back. Woo. Bumpy right there. Made it though. Nice and smooth. Hard ground right there. You gotta love that. Jimmy, you missed... Man, Jimmy just all the time missing spots. Look at this. The spot he missed right here. Come on, man. Dang. Jimmy just all the time missing spots. Well, it's a good thing these are tough soybeans. I drifted over there. Didn't realize it, but... Uh, they don't seem to be hurt, so we'll just... Let's loop on in here. We'll let him get completely empty. We'll jump over and grab the uh, Massey. And we'll finish rowing up everything over there. And then we'll hook the Massey back to the baler and keep bailing. And then we'll need to wrap them all, and then we'll need to stack them on our trailer, which we have now, which is good. We got us a nice little bell trailer. Uh, so that's good to have. Because reasons. <laughs> reasons, that's why. 
Hey, Jimmy, how much more does that thing hold? There we go. About to say. No, no, don't dump it on the ground, you big dummy. We need this ain't ours. Sometimes dealing with Jimmy just ain't worth it. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right, Jimmy, you have at it there. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Go ahead and unhook this. We'll go over here and get the uh, get the rake. We'll go ahead and windrow all this up. And again, Richard's already been calling this morning. He's already talked to him. He said he was in a hurry to get his bales done, so we got to hurry up and do this. So we'll help Jimmy out when we can, but for the most part, we're going to be working on this, uh, getting these bales done and delivered, uh, signed, sealed, and delivered. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Okay. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know why he just skipped this whole edge. That's Jimmy for you. Dang it, Jimmy. That's what he does. That's what he does. He misses stuff. And I don't know. We were, we're way off the... Oh, no, we're not way off the field there. We're good. Let's see. I don't know if we will pick that up or not. This is county land, but it's not. We're on the field. We're okay. I'll probably just go ahead and run to the end there because Jimmy missed a bunch on that other end. So I'll probably just go ahead and run down there and, and get it. May just run a run a whole row right here. Probably be okay. Run just a uh, like an end row. Probably be all right. Get it back off the edge of the field there anyway. Yeah, that's gonna work good. Go ahead and clean up all this stuff. Old Jimmy missed. Thank you, Jimmy. I think I'm gonna make a coffee cup, says dang it, Jimmy. Have it have it for some merch for the farm, huh? Oh, there's a seems to be a, a wall of some sort there. Okay. I will come back around. I will come back around. Okay, there we go. Do the same right here with this one. There's a wall of bushes there. Okay, and there we go. Okay, now this one's done. Oh, no, it's not done. We gotta go back and do this area down here too. I forgot about that. This one's about to be done. Uh, we'll go ahead and run it back down to the shop and then come back and get the bailing because we'll probably bring the bell trailer back with us. Uh, even though we're not going to need it for a little while because uh, we're going to have to have the telehandler or the John Deere over here. Jimmy could be getting pretty full over there though. It's not going to take him long. That's some good That's some good fields he's working. So. That's some good fields he's working. I just want to kind of turn all these out like that. That way we can not have to worry about it so much. Back around we go. Oh, that's a bail. That's a bail. We should not be running that bail over. Should not be running that bail over. It's like we survived. We're good. Won't be long now. We'll be running bales again. Hopefully, I mean, this is a $20,000 contract. This guy must be making a ton of money off this field. That's all I can say. He's paying us twenty grand. He must be making a ton of money off all these, uh, these salvage bales. 
Or he just really needs them for his cows or something. I don't know. Seems like a good deal for us either way, so. He even said we could keep the extra of what he didn't need, so I mean that's that's hard to beat. That's a heck of a deal. It's a heck of a deal. Richard's a good guy. We'll do some more contracts for Richard in the future, I think. Do some more contracting work for it. I mean, honestly, like we've got two fields, uh, and we're only working one of them in the uh, in the spring to, to fall, so we don't have a whole lot going on uh, until those are ready. All right, this is done now. Now we can run this back. Lines are a little wonky, but it's fine. It'd be all right. All right, bell trailer's already over here. I forgot about that, so we'll head on, uh, drop this off. And uh, we may just bring the John Deere back over here and stack bales with it and use the telehandler around the farm to move uh, bales and stuff to feed the cows. It's probably a better option. That's the old cruise. While we got cruise set here, I'm going to check the tablet for sell prices. Soybeans. Those bales, yeah, we're at the worst sell price still. November. November, not good. Uh, and then we got straw. I don't actually have 113,000 liters of straw, though. I don't have anything I can sell right now, actually. Uh, we, oh, we got wheat. I forgot we got wheat. Uh, oh, this is this is looking good. So we got a good sell price coming up in January. January, February. So uh, just a couple more months here. We'll be able to sell some wheat, which will be good. Make some of that good money. Uh, I say good money. Uh, we're making money off this bailing contract, but... Harvesting wheat was easy. We got straw bales for our cows. We're going to sell it for about 15 grand. That's pretty good too. Uh, so all this work we're doing on these, sil on these silage bales, we're only making 19. So I mean, actually working our fields is better, but again, can't work our fields right now. We have to wait. We have to wait. Uh, I might go ahead and spray this one off. And put it up. That way it'll be clean. Save some fuel there. We'll turn that off. Yeah, it needs a washing. Look at that thing. Dirty. The sunlight ain't quite all the way up yet. Thing is horribly dirty with grass here. Forty-two percent complete on uh, Jimmy's field over there. That's good. That's good. When Ray gets done with the truck, we may have Jimmy go pick it up and drive it back to the house. Probably not a bad option, because Jimmy will probably be done with the the field before uh, before Ray gets done with the truck today. So I figure it's probably going to take him a couple hours. It's, I mean, it's not a very big town. There ain't a whole lot of people here, but I'm sure he's got something else going on. Today. He didn't really give me a time. We'll check back this afternoon. We'll check back after lunch with him and uh, swing by the shop see if it's sitting out. If it's sitting out front, we know he's done with it. So. This thing does not turn as sharp as I thought it did. It's a tight squeeze in here. Hey, yeah, look at that. that thing just ain't turning. Come on now. Like I want to go right up against that tether. Just cut it in tight there, I reckon. Sure, we're about to hit the mower. Oh, we did. We did hit the dang mower. Of course, we did. Something else I gotta break. I gotta fix now. There we go. That'll work right there. I can live with that. We can get. We can get around it if need be. Yeah, we can get around it if need be. I think. <laughs> I think. What else I was bringing back with me? Nothing. I'm not bringing anything back. With me. Never mind. Everything's already down. Let's go. Cows are good. That was good. Still got a straw bale sitting there, so I not need one. I do have some more hay bales that we can move over and feed them. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that. I would like to get some grass in there. Speaking of which, let's cut down through our grass field here and see what growth stage it's on. I bet it's doing pretty well. I bet it's doing pretty well.
The John Deere. Well, we're going to yeah, we're going to have to hop over an empty Jimmy because he's full again. This right here, this is all just the natural stuff. It's not plowed up or anything, not planted grass. It's ready to it's ready to cut again. This right here though, it looks like it's got one more one more growth stage. We may use some of that fertilizer and get that fertilized for that last uh, growth stage. So, uh, yeah, we're still using the John Deere to, to, to empty Jimmy out over there, and he's full again. So we're going to run over there and do that. Uh, this road right here may cut straight over there. It does. It cuts straight over that field. That's a quick way to get there, right there. We'll go that way. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go empty empty Jimmy out, and then take that load and go ahead and get rid of it. So it's gonna be a bouncing back and forth a lot here today. Uh, between Jimmy and me until we get another helper. Uh, this is what it's gonna be. So We're gonna have to have to just deal with it for a while I reckon Yeah, I got the bell wrapper ready to go. Uh, I didn't even try to unfold this thing and see what it looked like I don't know how that thing works Let's check it out real quick and see here. Get the manual out. Fold. Turn on automatic drop. Yes. Uh, lower. Uh, lower. Okay. How's this? How's this crazy thing work here? I don't know how that works. Oh, does it need a PTO? It might need a PTO hookup. No, I don't know. Well, how does it, how does it, how does it do its thing? Do I have to set them in there to wrap them? Oh man, I bet I gotta load them in there. All right, well we'll figure that out later, I reckon. Oh wait a minute, is that fold? That may be unfolded right there. Hang on. Oh, you know what? I bet it would help too if we turned it on. No, can't turn it off. Okay. Let's see if that does it. No hydraulics for it anywhere, of course. That don't do it either. Well, what in the world? How does this thing work? Hmm. Things that make you question life right here. Paid two grand for this thing. I can't even get the stupid thing to work. Pretty weird pretty weird all right let's go do some uh, oh you know what no we gotta go get jimmy go get jimmy unloaded go unload the jimmy uh we get back we'll have to empty him again and then we'll have about that same amount of time but he is almost done he's getting there so he's getting there What's up, bud? How's it going? Yeah, he's almost done. When he gets done, we won't have so much of a pain because we can we don't have to worry about him anymore. So, uh, and we'll probably have some leftover soybean out of this too. So if we got if we got ten thousand leftover soybean off three uh, three contracts, that's pretty good. And that's about what we're gonna have. We should have about four thousand soybeans left over out of this. Uh, let's grab the, the contract here and check it out. Let's see harvesting. So we got to deliver uh, forty two thousand eight hundred more. Okay, and we're about 45% done with it, so that's not too bad. I'm going to see if we can get up this hill. We're probably not going to be able to, but we'll take a run at it here. See what happens. Probably not going to go as well as what I want it to, but... Gear down, son. Let's go. We might actually make it. Of course, now we're on the steep part of the hill, though. Like that's uh, that's pretty bad right there. Pretty steep. As long as there ain't nothing coming, we're good to go. No, we're good. We're good. Let's go. All right. 
We made it somehow. Nearly has a full grain tank. I ain't even made it out of there. I ain't even made it over to sale yet. Man, Jimmy, slow don't slow down, actually. Get done with that, son. Let's get it done and over with. Loretta Lynn passed away. She was 90. Man, not only is she 90, she was an absolute legend. Absolute legend, Loretta Lynn. Yeah, absolute legend there. God, it's bumpy. Jeez. Oh, I think they could build the road up slightly more right there. Sheesh. It's tough right there, man. Go get that dumped out. Three percent transported, so about two more loads and then a piece of a load, and we'll be good. Should leave us about fourteen percent if I'm doing the maths right, which I'm probably not. I told y'all, maths and me don't go together real well, so they do not work together real well at all. Didn't see a train coming, so. On a real note, though, I don't know what's up with my mirrors. I've got max mirrors eight, and there's only five on the screen. So something, something's going on here. Yeah, now they're all working. I don't, I don't get it. Like when I turn my head, though, they all, they all stop or they flicker. Whatever. It's just those three. Yeah, I've got max eight on, and can't get those to stay. And I, I'm tired of the flickering. Like it's honestly getting on my nerves. Makes me not want to drive in first person, but I want to drive in first person for the immersion. No, can't do that because your mirrors flicker in game because there's something wrong with them. Oh well. Immersion, yes. What's up, J Rock? How's it going, buddy? What is going on out here? I see people walking around out there. Is that a nature trail? Oh, we're going to come check out the nature trail at some point. I bet it goes up to the top of this waterfall right here. That'd be pretty neat. We'll walk the nature trail. All right, Jimmy, where you at? Oh, there he is. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to invest in a bigger trailer, guys. Which probably means we're going to have to invest in a bigger tractor because it's barely pulling 12,000 liters right now, so... It's going, man. Jimmy's Jimmy's doing work here on the field. You can see he's already made about six passes since we started, so that's pretty good. It's still it's still early morning, but he's he's making good time today. So, oh, which I'm honestly surprised at. The problem is he's making such good time. Uh, I haven't had a chance to work on bales yet uh, for for Richard's contract. Jimmy's over here working on. I can't remember the guy's name now. Uh, Jimmy's working on Jimmy's contract. Oh, it's two Jimmy's. That's the reason this. That's the reason this is becoming such a problem. Jimmy is over here working on Jimmy Caldwell's contract. And we got to get back over here on Richard's contract and get this done. It's just been a mess, man. Yeah, we got too many Jimmys today. I, kn I knew today felt like a felt like a, a, a Monday. And that's why it's a day. It's a day of Jimmys. It's two Jimmys. Jimmy Caldwell's uh, field and, and our Jimmy's working on it. So that sounds bad every time. Every time. Two Jimmys is too many. Two Jimmys is too much, I think. We may have to put that rig on the back. I don't know, man. I can't get that, that bell wrapper to, to do what I want it to. It may be defective. Maybe we take it back to Ray and just tell him it's broke. Probably probably a good option. He might he might actually give us our money back. I doubt it, but he might. He could. 
right? He could give us our money back on it. He ain't got to keep it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this this corner right here because this is it's kind of a kind of a weird spot, and these long up and down runs are gonna be nice. So my bet is Jimmy's gonna be full in about ten minutes. He's been making good time on that field. And that field's putting out a huge yield. And our harvester is is pretty small, so it doesn't have a big big tank on it at all. Oh, we are full. Wait, is auto drop not on? There we go. Turn that on and off every single time, I guess, when we when we jump into it. I guess it probably resets when you kill the battery. It's probably one of those deals. As long as the battery on, it's got the memory on it. As soon as you turn it, turn the uh, turn the key off, though, it kills the memory on the on the input for it there. I know we don't have access. I'm aware, thank you. All right, a couple more passes here. We're gonna, we're gonna have a bunch of bales, folks. A bunch of bales to load. And I'm probably gonna ruin the immersion and use a spike instead of a, a grab because I am terrible with those grabs. And it's really hard to stack them too, honestly, with the grab. Oh, I knew it. Dang it all. All right, now we're good. Loads of bales to pick up. I am sure this is going to be a lot. Uh, it's 47 4,000 liter bales. These are 3,500 liter bales. So we're probably going to be closer to 60. Or more. Sixty or more. To, to take and deliver and everything else we keep. So it's gonna be a lot, but uh, that's all right. He may not get his bales today. We may have to finish this contract tomorrow too. So it's a lot of extra work, man, wrapping all these bales. And I gotta get my bale wrapper to work. It may not even it may not even work. We may have to spend the money and buy a new one. And I don't want to have to do that. Yep, no problem, Celtic Moon. No problem at all. Real life and all, you know. Get this bail off here if we can. Come on, get moving. There you go. Roll on out of the way. Roll on out of the way. Oh, man, this thing's in bad shape. Come on, get out of the way. We'll just push it on. Push it on out of the way. Man. Don't get on the other one now. Dang it all. Man. Right on top of this other one now. Okay. Okay, this bell is becoming a serious problem here. There we go. Yeah, it's a Jimmy of Mondays. That's for dang sure. 62% complete. That's good. real good actually we're gonna have a lot of bales uh, and I don't know how to get this into that I'm gonna have to figure it out is it going on they go on a uh, go on the back of the tractor or something like I don't I don't understand I don't I don't know how this is supposed to work I'm gonna go all the way up this and hopefully we can get all the way up it without dropping a bale right in the middle. Of a row. Hopefully we can drop it like right right between the rows or something. Nope, it's gonna roll anyway, alright? Just let it roll. 
Let it roll down, that's fine. But you don't have to wait. Alright, we can start our long runs when we get to the top of this hill now. I'm sure this is going to be nice and easy. Nice and easy. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting. Jimmy should be calling in a minute and telling me he's full. Oh, dang it. Back up. Send that one back down the hill, too. Why not? All right. We got two bales out of that one. That's not too bad. Smallest solid bales ever. Smallest solid bales ever. All right, here we go. Long runs. Finally. If we don't miss that stop point, it's a lot easier. Just have to pay attention. Curious to see how many we get down through here per row. There we go, there's another one. What is that, two, three right here? Two, two down this road thus far. That's two thus far, shooter. Good, you can count. And you can count. That's two thus far, shooter. Oh, you can count. And you can count on me waiting for you in the parking lot. Anybody remember that guy's name? He was a really large fella. Probably should have raked this in too. I didn't think about that. I know if Jimmy didn't do the other end, he didn't get this end either. I know he didn't. He might have, but I doubt it. This first row doesn't look like it. This first row doesn't like it visitors at all. I mean, uh, sorry. I Re reading chat again. Uh, it doesn't look like he got this at all. What's up, Mr. A. Barry J? How's it going, buddy? Hope you are well. Eighty-nine, ninety-six, ninety-nine. Go. I can't believe Jimmy ain't called me. Is he still moving? Yeah, he's still moving. A streamer who reads chat? Who does that? I know, man. Uh, so, but, but this is, Barry, this is kind of a RP. So I've got, I've got a backstory and a setup and I get text messages from the store owner and all that kind of stuff. But I still talk to chat too. So I gotta, I, I try to keep myself in line. A live role play is kind of hard to do and stay completely immersed because I talk to chat as well. But Nick Welker streams when he's harvesting and he's working on the farm sometimes. So I figure it's cool. I figure it's probably okay. It's it's more realistic than people give it credit for. The whole talking to chat and, and do an RP on farm Semi-RP. It's 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 kinda RP, it's not full RP. Richard Keel. He said was. Did he pass away? If 
played Jaws in 007. Oh, he did. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Those trees look awful pretty, don't they? That was a nice place, man. That's a nice map. Crap, I missed it again. He's going to take his sweet time backing up, too. Must be some good ground. Yeah, that's what Bob said earlier, Barry. Loretta Lynn, what a legend. What an absolute legend. in 2014. I did not know that. I didn't. I didn't even think anything about it. It makes me feel old. <laughs> I think about how old she was. That made me feel old. Yeah, it made me feel old. And, and see, I just thought about this too, guys. Um, we, check, we checked the cow stats earlier. They didn't eat a whole lot of food overnight. Uh, so I think we can probably afford to spend about $6,000 more, maybe $10,000 more, and get us four more, maybe six more cows. Uh, if we start selling that milk, we'll be in good shape. We'll make some money. Uh, speaking of which, while we're unloading this bale, let's pull the tablet up here and check milk prices at the local local place. $700 per thousand liters of milk. That's pretty solid. I'd say anywhere in the 670 range, 650 range even, is probably a good sell point. So basically anytime except for June, July, August, May, May, June, July, August, uh, October, November, and December. January, February, March, and April are all on the, the we will sell list. So uh, we've already got 50 liters of milk. Got our first 50 liters of milk. It's pretty good. So I think uh, now if the store prices are updated on the on the on the stats page there, then maybe we're good. But. Barry, I saw a picture of him. I didn't get to hang out though. I saw your your thumbnail for your stream yesterday. It was your baler just shoving them out? Uh, I did see it. I just didn't get a chance to to watch. I was running crazy yesterday. So, um, but yeah, man, just shoving them out there. Yeah, this is the 125 centimeter. Uh, we're doing silage bales out of these two, which is not going to be fun. That's a lot of stacking. So, um, I did see in the shop though. We pulled the get the tablet back out of here while that's doing its thing. I saw in the shop that Ray has modified, um, uh, modified or picked up. Yeah, Ray has modified. Uh, no, not this. That's a Heston baler. He does have a Heston baler in stock too, though. He has modified one of these uh, Kuhn SW4014s uh, to wrap Heston bells. Apparently, Ray's Heston wrapper. So uh, we may have to we may have to try that out at some point. Uh, it says Heston wrapper, so I don't know if it does anything but Heston bells. But we may have to may have to talk him into selling us that. I don't know if it's in the store page. I don't know if it's by accident or not. We'll have to we'll have to talk him into it probably. I'm gonna try to buy that sucker because wrapping Heston bales, that's a lot. That's some big bales, man. That'd be that would that would cut our time down a lot. Uh, for baling and wrapping both. But we'd have to have a square, we'd have to have that Heston baler to do it. So I mean we're looking at 150 grand and we can barely make 15, so it'll take a while. Yeah, Barry, this one right here for me is totally different than what I'm used to doing. So no loans, no leases. We started with $2,000 and a few pieces of equipment for grassland care. Uh, one small harvester and uh, two tractors. Uh, no uh, uh, a planter, a weeder, nothing to spray fertilizer, nothing to spread lime, no plow, no cultivator. Um, so we're, we're, we're working as we go here, playing with seasons on two days, two day seasons. So uh, this is totally different for me. I'm not used to, used to hand stacking bales and all that kind of stuff. So 
Uh, I'm with you on that. I haven't done a vintage playthrough yet, though. I may try that if I can find, like, a, a half-size map. So, like, Hillshire... Not Hillshire Farms. That's an actual couple. Not Hillshire Farms. Um, what was what was the Shire Farms on 2017 or 2019? What was it called? Uh, that was a half-size map. That'd be great for vintage equipment. Or even something like Calm Lands, Western Wilds, No Man's Land, where you where you can create your own fields. That'd be that'd be great. But yeah, man, I get, I know the feeling. Like I'm doing the same thing here. It's it's totally different from what I'm used to doing. Semi role play started with basically nothing. So I mean, we started with equipment. Don't get me wrong. I got I got I started with this Vermeer Vermeer wrapper. I mean, uh, baler and this tractor and. Some other equipment for for cows but we started with no cows no money no we can't take out loans we can't take we can't lease equipment so it makes it really difficult i do get one helper and i can do contracts so that made it a little easier on me. but uh yeah it's totally different man it's pretty crazy how when you change your gameplay up it, it reinvigorates your want to play like i've wanted to get on here and play but i couldn't but i want to save it for the stream so What map are you playing on, Barry? I didn't see what map it was. Griffin. Oh, man. Playing Griffin with vintage equipment. Oof. That's tough right there. Oh, you know what? Ray did send me a message when he told me not to forget to check the sales page. Uh, nothing on there. This would be nice to have for thirty grand. That's not bad at all. How much does it hold? Fifteen thousand liters. Fifteen cubic meters. That's not bad. Fifteen thousand, about fifteen thousand liters. That's pretty good for thirty grand, but that's just not big enough, man. We need something bigger if we're going to do slurry on fields. They they take a lot, so. Hopefully I'll have help. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, man. Yeah, over on YouTube, Barry, on Fridays we're doing we're doing our community server and it's on uh, Spruce Mountain Farms. So we got a lot going on over there. We just put in a fish farm last week and I haven't set it up completely, but I got it installed, so pretty interesting. Uh, and that's just I mean that's just open we got big OP stuff on there. We got a header uh, corn headers and Crane headers that are, you know, that are the 60-foot headers or whatever, and then the big corn header, they go 20 miles an hour. We got the the work speed mod on there so people can adjust work speed, whatever they want to do. Uh, it's just supposed to be a big, fun, you know, production, full production map, basically. Uh, I think next time around we'll go something a little simpler, but a little smaller, too, though. Maybe like a focus on something for the community map. Maybe next time we do uh, as many farms, whatever that... Uh, farm mod is where you can uh, multiple or more farms or whatever and I'll just let everybody have an individual farm we'll see what happens <laughs> it, may, it may be fun I wish there was like a 2x map that was like calm lands and western wilds and um, no man's I wish it was like a 2x map that was just open you know open map nothing nothing no no actual fields no actual farms just open map i think that'd be fun to do uh for a for a community server and the reason i say 2x is because i feel like with with 16 farms or whatever you can add uh you'd need you'd need more area for people to work into so. Let people play their own way, put some big mods on there, put some small mods on there, give everybody a little something, do some production stuff. Just let everybody have have their go of it, you know? It'd be kind of fun. How many rows do we got left? One, two, three. You know when you start counting rows on the field, you're in bad shape. <laughs> you, know, you know you're ready to be done. Jimmy's got to be full by now, right, guys? Let's uh let's hop over and check on Jimmy. I don't I don't think 
looked like he was moving. He's not, he ain't been moving away. He's sitting there charging us money. He's just, I told you Jimmy is lazy. He won't even pull the harvester over here to unload. Or, or, it's 10 feet, Jimmy. Get out and move the dang tractor, man. Jeez, this guy's lazy. Lazy. Listen, look at him. I'm just sitting there waiting on us. Lazy Jimmy. That guy, I'll tell you what. And again, this is a lot. It's not like the either the harvester or the the trailer hold a whole lot, so. I'll try to get a run and go get up this hill down here. Probably gonna be going kind of slow again. Come on, struggle. I know you want to. Oh, this is bad. I still think this might be faster than going around, though. Tires ain't slipping though. It's pulling good. Well, the front tires are slipping a bit. There's a lot of weight on the back. It makes sense. <laughs> Ain't even made it out of here and he's already got 80% uh, again. Oh, whoa, easy, easy, fella. Slow down now. Tractor's entering highway. Dang. Yeah, when he gets done, we're going to speed up on the bales a lot because we won't have to do this. We won't have to jump over here every 10 seconds. And I'm going to make him drive the stuff back to the farm today. I ain't doing it for him. He ain't leaving until he does that. That's the least he can do for me. As much as he charges me, whew. two, three thousand dollars a day. That's that's expensive. I mean, we're making a ton of money too, but geez, man. On a side note, though, I've been waiting on somebody to put in like a realistic wages mod where you can you can set wages for your workers. There may be one, but I haven't seen them. Um, like per hour or whatever. That would be that'd be that'd be awesome for a uh, whoa. That'd be awesome for uh, an RP map. I think train almost got us. Almost got me today, didn't you? Oof, that's rough right there going across. Rough getting across there. It couldn't get the buttons to work. It was picking the wrong. It was it was uh, malfunctioning slightly. All right, sixty four percent delivered it was at 43 so it's about 21 and a half percent uh per no 20 22 and a half 22 and a half percent no 21 yeah 21 and a half percent per load basically what the math works out to so be a little less than five loads that was number three there Yeah, True, True gave me a lot of the guidelines for this. He was like, I'd like to see something like this. And I was like, that's a good idea. I'm going to take it a step further, but yeah, that's a good idea. Last of my coffee's cold now. It was almost noon anyway. Jimmy, I hope you was eating your lunch while you were sitting there waiting on me to come empty your harvester. You ain't taking a lunch break.
Be full again already? Gosh dang, man. It might actually be more beneficial at this point to, to run with him for a minute. Uh, fill back up and go into empty. And luckily, we have some tough soybeans over here. If this was our field, we'd, we'd be destroying these, but our soybeans ain't gonna be this tough, I don't think. And we're playing oats anyway. Oats ain't, oats ain't as tough as soybeans. They'll damage if we run them over. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and run next to him. And, uh... But I'm gonna run on the other side. I'm gonna let him get to the end. We'll just run with him and fill back up. Go ahead and go empty it. That way he can make a few extra laps here without us being interrupted. So rudely interrupted by Jimmy every time we get going again. So rudely interrupted. We're gonna go down to the other end of the field. We'll just wait on him. Uh, we'll go ahead and get. We'll go ahead and run a lap. Fill back up because we'll fill up before we get to the end of the field. So. And uh, go ahead and go empty again. Hopefully, we'll be pretty close to dropping this off. I got a minute before he gets there. Let's look at this contract again here. 18,600 left to go. Not bad. So, this trailer full and then a piece of one, everything else is ours. That's, that's going to be pretty good, guys. We're going to have about 4,000 liters of soybeans left over. And yeah, we're going to make Jimmy take, uh, take the. Take the the harvester this tractor and trailer we're gonna make him stop by the store and get the truck go back to the store and get the truck we'll make him do a bunch of extra work today since he's uh he's so lazy he is being lazy though we're gonna get in his way thing he back right over us look at him stop and go stop and go come on man that thing in gear. Me too. Get that thing in gear. Come on now. A little bit of that toward the front, I guess. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and fill up one time here. And that'll leave us about 6,000 more to deliver. Everything else is ours. So that's good. And hopefully we fill up before we get deep off in this hill. Come back around and go up the short side. We off in the hill now. Too late. About full though. There we go. It's all you, Jimmy. A steep hill. I'm not leaving him that little that little strip of soybeans. We're gonna get it too. We're gonna get it too. I may give Jimmy a break when he gets done, but yeah. He's going to drive everything back to the farm, at least. I don't know if going this way is any faster or not. I'm going to be honest with you. It'd be easier to just climb that hill on the end. moving Dang, yeah we're going to have a bunch more horsepower to pull a bigger trailer we ain't gonna be able to get a bigger trailer until we get a bigger tractor and to get a bigger tractor we're gonna need a miracle yeah we're gonna need a lot more horsepower all right so six thousand more liters is all we need
Well, that'll be good. That'll be good. Time to test the server out. All right, buddy. Have a good one, man. I hope it all works for you. Good luck with it. I'll pop in if I can. Scheduling it all. I've changed my schedule, of course. Yeah, good luck, man. I'll pop in and hang out for the stream, just to say, I guess. Wings coming for supper. Heck yeah. Are they buffalo or are they chicken wings? If you, if you say buffalo wings, I ain't ever seen a buffalo wings. I'm sure not still how they do that in restaurants, but... Honey barbecue. Heck yeah. Sounds good. Oh boy, that train almost got us again, didn't it? That thing runs pretty pretty regular. Must be a different train. Oh, man, it's a little it's a little better when you go across there fast. You almost jump over it. It's pretty nice. This should be the last harvest of the year. It's, it's almost December, so uh, there shouldn't be any more harvest contracts out there. Eighty-six percent. Oh, we're gonna need another full load, aren't we? No, 6,500 to go. Okay. 14% more. I was doing the math wrong. I told you I'm bad at math. Whoa, that was way too fast. I hope the trailer's all right. Jeez. I ain't slowing down. We're going. I saw the truck coming, but I'm going anyway. I ain't got time to wait. Jimmy's over here knocking it out. Not the button I meant to hit. 92% done. Heck yeah. Gotta quit looking at my phone while I'm driving. My tablet, though. Tablet's got all the good stuff. Phone just makes phone calls and text messages. I got one of them old them old phones. Get that smart tablet though. Works well. Jimmy, how how full are you here? Let's see if we can go ahead and get him to empty before he starts moving. It'll probably be better for us, I think. Come on, open up there, Jimmy. No no, don't go. Just just stop right there. Fill up. There we go. I know he's blocked by now. I'm blocking. I'm doing it on purpose. No no don't go. What are you doing? Yeah, stop. There you go. Block him in. Dang Jimmy, silly sometimes. Six. 6,000 is what we're looking for. All right, cool. I'm going to run with him since we know we ain't going to hurt this crop. We'll get 6,000 in there, then we'll go. What do we need? 65, 6,500 more liters. Okay. You ain't completed your tech. Jimmy, where are you going? Jimmy. Jimmy. Get back in that harvest. There you go. Dang, boy. I'll tell you what. I told you Jimmy wasn't the sharpest light bulb. Thought he was done already. You ain't done yet. Makes the rotary rotary sound when dialing. I tell you what, my phone's so old that Doctor Disrespect's got a smartphone compared to what I've got. So, and he got the old flip phone. Sixty-five hundred is all we need. A little more ain't gonna kill us. But. I 
a Gibbs phone. I don't even know what that is. Got a hanker to make some barbecue chipped ham. Oh, that sounds good. It's baby buffalo. <laughs> 6,500 is what we're looking for. We're at 62. I don't know if we're going to hit 65 for the end of this row or not, though. 64. 65. There we go. 6504. That's pretty spot on. All right, Jimmy, I'll be back. I shall return. We're going to go ahead and do it. dump this. That'll be the last of the, the grain we've got to deliver. Or the last of the soybean we've got to deliver. Everything else is ours. That's pretty good. And that's only two passes. I think he should be able to make that without uh, without us having to empty him out. So. Hopefully that'll he'll he'll finish that up anyway. Never know about Jimmy, man. He's liable to leave stuff off. Old Jim. Hmm. Jim would be the fellow we're doing the contract for, I guess. Jim Campbell. Remember when a new phone was twenty nine ninety five and the batteries were thirty dollars? Yes, yes I do, Bob. Yes I do. I paid, I paid thirty dollars for my Nokia, and I put probably seven batteries on that stupid thing, but it lasted for five years. Mud holes, run over it with a four wheeler, lost it, everything else. Ran over it with the truck, still worked, still made phone calls. Those phones were hard to beat, man. Those things were hard to beat. All right, that should be 100%. Contract on 28 finished. We got $946. Dang, I didn't mean to put that much in there. It said 6,500 left to deliver. We, de we delivered 6,504, did we not? We could have delivered less, I guess. All right, so that's it. Everything else is ours. So that's good. Completed. I'm not going to accept it yet, though. If I accept it now, we don't get our extra grain off there. And I want that, I want that extra soybean for us. So There we go. Yeah, I want that extra soybean for us. So, we'll keep on going here. Uh, I'm going to take this back over to Jimmy and let him keep going. And we're going to go get back to work on the bales. Uh, I may I may pull up next to him for a minute there and get him emptied. That way he can finish finish whatever's left. It shouldn't be more than more than this more than the harvester holds. Honestly, what's left, so should be okay. Yeah, it should be okay. It shouldn't it shouldn't be more than what's left on the field. That's for certain. Or, or there shouldn't be more on the field left than what the harvester holds, I guess I'm trying to say. Shrimp fried rice tonight. Man, I ain't had shrimp fried rice in so long, Bob. I got two people in the house with a shellfish allergy. I can't have shrimp or anything here. Ooh, it sounds good. It sounds so good. Oh yeah, Jimmy's almost done and he is not even full, I bet. He gets to the end there, we'll swap around and take out whatever's in there, I guess. And we'll probably just tell him to go ahead and drive him back over to the farm. Uh, I may take the harvester and knock that little spot out, give him a little break, let him sit for a minute and walk around, whatever. He's setting something too long, you gotta get out and move around a little bit, so. Hurry up and get here, I'll save you a bowl. 
<laughs> Man, it sounds good. All right, Jimmy, how much you got in there? Let's see. Uh, dang, we're going to get more than that. We're going to end up about 40, 4,600 or so. All right, Jimmy, you go ahead. I'm going to go do a few bales while we're waiting on you. I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows to go. So not too bad. Look at all these bales out here, though. Dang, man. Yeah, we're going to be on this another day, no doubt. No doubt. Uh, we're going to be here another day working on bales. But at least we've had some good mix up today. Jumping back and forth, working with, trying to work with Jimmy is like babysitting your neighbor's kids, man. I'm telling you. It's like it's. It's cool and all, but it, you know, you can send them home at some point. Completed their task. All right. We'll jump back over and get that little spot Jimmy missed. Give him a break for a second. Let him get out and stretch his legs. Then we'll put him back in the harvester, send him home. I'll go ahead and run up to the end of this row before we do though. We'll give him a minute. Give him a little extra few minutes here to stretch. Velcro, the, ba the best babysitting invention ever. I mean, that's there's some truth to that, sir. <laughs> there's some truth to that. Oh, Bob, that was my nieces and nephews. <laughs> that was my nieces and nephews, man. They were wild, dude. They still are, matter of fact. All right. Jimmy is stretching his legs while he's doing that. We're going to go 270. Yeah, we're going to end up with about 4,500. That's pretty good. We'll go clean up what he missed because I know he missed a few spots. So there was one, one little soybean right there. I'm not going to worry about the little bitty ones, but. There's a pretty good string over here that's probably only about 30 liters or so, but. Could have picked that up too, I guess, but whatever. We'll do a double check here, empty out in the trailer, and then send him with the harvester. Send him on with the harvester. Yeah, it's a pretty good heel right there, isn't it? Doggone. All right, Jimmy. I appreciate your help today, but I need you to do a few more things for me before you before you take off for the day. It's only noon, man. You got plenty of time the rest of the day. You could run some stuff back to the house for me, can't you? Yeah, you can do it. You can take some things back for me. All right. I'll even, I'll even hook the, put the header back on the trailer and everything, hook up for you. All you gotta do is drive it back. Jimmy acts like this is some kind of extra. This is part of the job, sir. This is part of the job. Okay. Get out and attach that. All right. There we go. Hold up the old harvester there. Part of the job, Jimmy. Get used to it. I know you ain't going to. I'm gonna have to do this every single time, ain't I? But I am. I'm willing to bet that I am. I'm not gonna be able to get to that, am I? We'll 
Well, dang, I may have to get the tractor out just to move that around. Got to move it with the back back wheel here. See what happens. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, I'm gonna nudge the back of the trailer and see if we can scoot it around any. Just a, just a nudge. Just a little nudge, it's fine. That didn't work either, did it? No. Okay. Let's try the other way then. There we go. Now we got it loose. That's super realistic right there. Oh, now we're running it over. Oh, God. There's more repairs. All right. That should be close enough. All right, Jimmy. Take this sucker back to the house for us, would you? Maybe. Please. Drive it back to the house. Please don't hit anything. Please don't hit anything, Jimmy. I need you to go to right here because I need to repair it and refuel it. That's all I want you to do. That's all I need you to do, sir. Thank you, Jimmy. When you get that, you can come back and get this one too. <laughs> I ain't told him that yet, though. All right. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, you still going? He's still going. Okay, good. All right, back to Baylor. Back to Baylor. Yeah, this job ain't gonna be done today, especially if I ain't got no bell wrapper. Uh, that may be a problem. Once Jimmy gets the tractor off the field, we'll complete that job. I'll let him know we're done. I just wanna get all our stuff off his field first. All right, what does this have left on it anyway? Uh, we're 20% done. 20% is the mowing part. Uh, profit from harvest, 3,800. 186,000 liters is what we've got to deliver. I don't know how many bales that converts to. Well, if these are 3,500, let me, let me pull out my calculator real quick. 3,500. 186,000. And what? 186,900. Okay, 186,900 divided by 3,500. 53.4 bales is what we're going to have to deliver. That's not too bad. If I can get, if I can get 10 bales or so, that's five bales per trip. That's, I mean, uh, five trips, 10 bales, 10 bales each with a with an extra, uh, with an extra four on it. So that's not too bad. Bob, I pulled up the manual. I didn't see it, though. Was it on there? I'll pull it up again in a minute. Let's see. Uh, fold, turn on. Yeah, see, I got it. I don't know what that 139 means. It's supposed to, it's supposed to, it's supposed to do 125 centimeter bales. I don't know what that 139 is. Maybe it don't do 125 centimeter bales. Maybe we are going to have to buy a new one. Dang it. <laughs> I didn't want to. Yeah, if I pull up the manual for it, 140. Oh, no, that's how many bales we've, we've, that's how many bales have been through this baler. I see. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't see. Change bale size. No, that's what we want. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's bell count. Yeah, you're right, Bob. That's bell count. Dang, digital counters. Yeah, 141, I'm guessing now. Yeah, 141. Yeah, so that's the digital bell count there. That's a lot of bells with this old baler here. A lot of bells.
Yeah, when we get done and get this thing disconnected, we'll hook it to the back of the tractor and see if that'll do it. It may unfold sideways or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Uh, it may not work. I mean, we bought it from Ray after all. Doesn't give me a whole lot of hope for Ray's uh, Heston wrapper either if he's if he's tweaking on stuff there at the shop and it ain't working right. I'm not leaving that little spot there. I could, but I'm not going to. Like an extra 15 liters there. A self-propelled baler. Me either, Bob. Me either, man. That thing's going to be nice, I think. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it, though. I mean, I could, if I can afford that, I can probably afford that Heston baler. That Heston baler, I got a Heston wrapper. So that would be good. It'd be square bales instead of round bales. And there's that auto pickup trailer. Uh, that's got the forks on it or whatever. The, 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 hay, the hay fork on it. Uh, that would be nice to have. Uh, and it'll, it'll pick up them Heston bales, so... It's built for it, actually. But we could do a Heston bell set up and do some big bales. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be good. That's gonna be when we got a farm running right there. When we get that thing, get them, get that auto stacker going. I'll know we're in good shape. I'll know we're in good shape then. Yeah, I mean, if this doesn't, if this thing doesn't work, then we've wasted our time. We could have done 150 centimeter bales, or uh, 180 even. But yeah, if this thing doesn't work, then we've wasted our time because we've put out a lot more bales here than we needed. We could have done about half this many bales, or not half. This many. We could have done about two thirds as many bales, maybe three quarters as many bales. We could have saved ourselves some time, nonetheless, for the amount of bales, the amount of wrapping we're about to do. But still, though, for 20 grand, it'll almost buy a round bale, round bale wrapper. So, matter of fact, go to the store real quick and see. Pull up the old web page. 125 to 150 centimeter bales. Yeah, so this was 22,000. That's a lot. Uh, Ray's wrapper's 42,000. The original 54,000. Yeah, so this was probably old. He did some work on it or something, my guess. I don't know how to make this thing work, though. 125 centimeter bales. That's what it says. Round bales, even. So... Maybe it needs a two attacher point on it. I don't know what that does, though. Huh. I don't know. We'll see when we get done. Uh, I don't know that we're going to get them wrapped today, but we'll try, we'll try it out again and, and make sure. Make sure it works like it's supposed to. If it doesn't, we're going to call Ray and uh, have, a, have, us a, have us a sit down. I'll at least send him an angry text anyway. He hadn't answered the phone the last few times I called. I guess he probably just busy all the time. It's easier to text back and forth. Especially on non-important issues like him him stealing money from me. But yeah, Bob, if we look at that, uh, bring up the store one more time here. If we look at that self-propelled baler, it does 125 to 180 centimeter bales and they're round. Um, and then the baler itself the Heston baler is only 90,000 and it does 240 centimeter bales. Those are big, big bales. And this thing's 214,000. So uh, I know we have to have an extra piece of equipment, an extra tractor pulling it. But for, for $90,000, those Heston bales are massive. 200, 240 uh, centimeter bales. So versus 180 centimeter bale. That's a lot. That's a big difference. That's a big difference. That's two of these, basically. You think about it. That's two of these bales. So we'll cut our workload in half with a Heston baler. And since since Jimmy absolutely refuses to mess with bales, I think a Heston baler is our way forward to 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 cut some time down. So that's probably what we're going to start saving up for. We'll get that Heston baler, and then we'll get this bale trailer here. Get this thing. It's forty thousand. Um, it looks like it works pretty good too. So, yeah, we'll get that one. What is this grippers on this? Oh, check that out. Wide grippers, default grippers, without grippers. I think we'll do without grippers. Uh, without beacon. That's fine. 
Yeah, all that looks good. I'll buy, buy it just like it sits. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good deal there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's 40000 and then the, the Heston Baylor is 90000 So It's an old Baylor, though. It's not new. Uh, it's probably been refurbished and put in the shop, if I had to guess. So, yeah, I mean, it's a better deal all the way around. And they're square bales. They don't run from us. So, <laughs> that's the main thing. They don't run away from us. Yeah, we're going to have to do something to cut time down on bales because we're going to be making a lot of bales uh, for these cows. So, uh, And I plan on having multiple cow barns. So I want, I want a big cow farm. I want the biggest cow farm in the county here. And the only way I can see to make that happen is have some, have some, some updated big equipment to do it. But at some point, we may mess around with some square bales. Uh, when, we, when we got millions, we'll buy that uh, self-propelled round baler. They do our straw bells in it or something. Wouldn't mind having this piece of land I'm driving on right here, though. That piece right there would be good. It's nice and flat. I don't want this piece. It's too too much heel. Got too much heel for me on it. Look at this. That's just wrong right there. That bell's about to go rolling. No, I guess not. All right, whatever. <laughs> I thought it was about to be gone. Three more passes. Man, I can't wait. Three more passes. But yeah, the biggest problem is not that we wasted $2,000 on this wrapper. The biggest problem is the amount of time we wasted on this field. Time is valuable, so. Uh, Ray may have wasted all of our time selling us this wrapper on the front of this thing here. Well, we'll see. Maybe we can get it working, though. If I can get it working, it was worth the two grand. Has Jimmy made it to the dang house yet? Jimmy, what are you doing? He has not made it. Where are you at, Jimmy? What are you doing? Jimmy, what, what in the... I told you not to wreck anything, man. Jimmy, seriously. Jimmy, what, what did you do? Now I'm stuck. I can't even get out of the mud down here. How did, Jimmy, how did this happen? Guys, seriously. I mean, Jimmy, come on now. I would hate to have to fire Jimmy. I like Jimmy and everything, but man, come on. This is this is ridiculous right here. Like Jimmy is big stuck right here. This is this is not even this is not even close. What in the world? I'm moving, but barely. May have to unhook his header trailer. Jimmy, you're the absolute worst. You know that? Just talking about him and look up and he's stuck in a dang ditch. Dang it, Jimmy. Oh, I gotta run over here to raise. Ray, I'm gonna borrow your, your forklift, man. Your telehandler. Gosh dang. Always something with this guy. I knew today was a day of Jimmy's. I knew it. Jimmy, while I'm doing this, go go take the dang... No, I didn't want to do that. Go take the dang uh, John Deere back. Jeez, man. It looks like the truck's ready. It's sitting out there, so that's good. Look at the harvester ain't even showing up on the map. What in the world? Jimmy, what did you do, man? 
Take the John Deere back, Jimmy. And try not to run anything over this time. Yep, the truck's back. All right, good. Magi looks like, how does the tires look? Oh, man, it looks brand new. Heck yeah, he put some new tires on it. Thanks, Ray. Ray's not even in. Dude, he's never here, man. No wonder he's always texting. He's probably off doing something else. That's why he never takes phone calls. Wait, what now? Oh, there he goes. Okay. Let's see. What did, what did that say? All right. Let's go get this sucker unstuck now. I hope. Dang, I tell you what, man. Jimmy's becoming more of a problem than he is help. I'm going to squeeze right here behind the shop. Take the short route. This is this is a problem. This is a problem right here. Jimmy, you big dummy. You big dummy. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out how he did this. Like, how do you get that far off the road, Jimmy? Jimmy, am I, am I gonna have to call Ray to come get this out too? You know how much that's gonna cost us? I guess you're not gonna take a pay cut for the day, are you? Probably not. Jimmy don't take pay cuts. All right, we're getting close there. I'm just, he's just thing. Oh no, don't puncture the dang harvester. Come on now. Need to get under on this side. Oh, we've made mistakes now. Oh, look, there comes Jimmy again. You gonna run into us down here, you big dumb dumb? Look at him. Can't even drive straight. You see what you did? You see this? This is your fault. I'll tell you what, that boy is worthless sometimes. We got wage payment. We got $230 for what? Wrecking my stuff. We're wrecking everything, Jimmy. Two hundred and thirty dollars. I mean, three hundred and twenty dollars. Whatever. That's what you charge me for. Just one of them days. I wish I'd have just stayed in bed. Just one of them days. You gonna come back and take this harvester to the house? You definitely gonna come back and take this harvester to the house? Better thank Ray for letting us use this. Alright, let's see if we can get under the front of this thing and break something now. Oh no. Don't need to get the JCB stuck. Ray'd have a dang fit. I didn't even tell him we were getting it. I figured he wouldn't mind too much. I'm buying a lot of stuff from the shop, so. All right, come on. Come on. Let's see if that'll get it now. That dang Jimmy, that's not, that's not even close to what I said. Uh. Okay. Alright, got the JCB out now. I swear Jimmy has just made this day worse and worse and worse. Jimmy, you are... I thought you were good for nothing. I didn't realize how right I was, though. Still stuck, huh? All right. Go back around the other side and try it again. Dang, Jimmy. I get under the side here. 
I don't think this JCB would actually do this, but it's all I got at the moment. The only option I've got. Completed their task. I doubt it. Probably off in a ditch. Oh, he did. Look at him. All right, Jimmy. Since you're done with that, come back and get this now. Let him deal with that. Oh, we're still sinking. Oh, Jimmy, you are you're just awful. Oh, it's not how I wanted to spend the rest of my day, Jimmy. You know how much this harvester cost? We're going to get ready to come get it out, I reckon. Probably going to be a little more than $150 this time, though, for a harvester. I don't know what he used to get the truck, but I'm sure he got something big enough to get the harvester out of here. Ha! Ah. Woo! Jimmy, you are lucky. You are very lucky, sir. Very, very lucky. All right, everything still works. Everything looks good. Very, very lucky, Jimmy. You come by here yet, you big dumb dumb? Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, he's just went on by like nothing happened. Not like we got work to do, Jimmy. Man, that guy's frustrating sometimes. Thanks, Ray. Even though you don't know, you don't even you don't even know I borrowed this, but uh, I appreciate you. I appreciate it anyway. Thank you, sir. Don't even know I got it. I'll just leave it there. That dang Jimmy. You done? All right, glad to have her truck back. I'm not gonna hook it to that trailer anymore. I doesn't like that at all. Refuel, oh man, look how, look how much power that sucker's got now. All new tires on it, we didn't do anything else. It's just, it can move now, that's good. All right, cool. Jimmy, try to make it this time without running anything over, would you? I doubt he can. I doubt he can, but uh, let's hope that he does. Big dumb dumb. All right, we got everything all filled 28 over here, so we can turn this contract in while we got the tablet open. Might as well collect. All right, 10,000. 10,000 more dollars. So we may need it to buy a bell wrapper now. Gosh dang, Jimmy. Sometimes I really dislike that guy. We might have to fire him if he keeps that up. I mean, I knew, I knew that, that he had, he was prone to problems, right? He was prone to issues. Like he's, he's just him. Like he's just accident prone, right? I didn't think going straight down a paved road at 10 miles an hour, he could do something like that. 
But just when you think everything's all good, he can go and prove you wrong every single time. Every single time. Kind of ridiculous, Jimmy. Kind of ridiculous. What's the bell count? 157. I should have reset it before we started this field, so many bales we got off this field. I think I will when we do ours again. Uh, especially since we're going to fertilize that sucker tomorrow, too. Uh, we'll probably split up our time between working fertilizer on it and ramping these bales. That way, uh... Actually, you know what? No, Jimmy can do the fertilizer. He dang sure can. And he can give me a refund for today's wages, too. Just for the, the struggle I had to go through to get the harvester out of there. Ain't no telling how long you've been sitting in the ditch. I'm glad I looked because he wasn't going to call and tell me. He was not going to tell me anything. Absolute worst. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to dock his pay. That's the only fair way to do this. You can't even make it straight down the road. You don't deserve full pay. What's up, Ethan? How's it going? Good to see you. Jimmy finished the task, and I bet he ain't gonna say nothing. I bet he's gonna leave. I'd leave too. I'd leave too. I wouldn't say nothing either. See you tomorrow, Jimmy. Thought we was going to be off for Christmas, didn't you? No, sir. Not here. We got too much work to do. No, sir, too much work to do. One more pass. We're going to go buy some more cows today, too, I think. I don't know. Maybe I ought to save that money just in case. We might have to go buy a brand new stinking bell wrapper. Because Ray won't lease us any. And this one ain't working. That's the one he sold us. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I put it on the back. Maybe it goes on a telehandler. Honestly, like it might do. I don't know. I didn't even look. Maybe it goes on the forks of a tractor. Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. It's got a three-point on it, though. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It'll be better when I don't have the baler hooked up to it. So. Get all the bells done. Play with this wrapper. We'll pick up some more cows tomorrow, I think get this sold too uh, we'll have some money to, to start looking at some more stuff here
Last run. Last run. That's a lot of bales, though. Man, we could have really, really upped our game a little bit if we just went ahead and bought the bigger bale wrapper to begin with. Could have done 180s. Been done with this in no time. A lot of dead gum bales on the field. That's a lot of wrapping and a lot of stacking. Uh, probably not today, no. Probably not today. We'll wrap tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try this wrapper and see if we can get it working. If not, I'm going to call Ray at the store and tell him we're going to have to do something. Because this bell wrapper ain't working. I couldn't get it to work no way. I'm probably, I'm probably pulling the wrong levers. I don't know. But to figure it out. But yeah, we got to wrap all these too. We'll split this up between, you know what? No, I ain't, I ain't getting Jimmy to work tomorrow. We'll fertilize the dang fields ourselves. That'll save me some money. I'm gonna dock his pay for the day too. We'll give him a day off or so and let him see how it feels. He ain't making that money. Yeah, it'll give us a break too from wrapping bales because I imagine about halfway through, we're gonna need a break because it's gonna be a lot. We'll go, we'll go do some spraying with our brand new, used, refurbished John Deere 250 sprayer. All right, last bit. Last bit here. I may, whatever's left over out of this, I may not wrap all these right away because I need some grass. So, and our grass ain't gonna be ready to mow, I don't think, tomorrow, so. Um, may may do some fertilization on it and see if it's ready to mow it may not be it might be I don't know get another whole bale out of that we are heck yeah I'll take it uh, we're going to need the grass for the cows though so, may keep a couple in grass a couple in silage see if we can make some TMR get them cows eating good Eating good. All right, that's all of it. We'll run down this edge right here, see if we can pick up any little extras. Of course, Jimmy didn't row it up correctly, so always gonna be something left over with him. spot right here I saw it and I was like eh, we might as well get it we're headed out anyway so all right there we go whatever's left in there is just left in there so take this back we'll come back down here and try this wrapper out see if it'll work hopefully it will uh, I'm going to leave this sitting outside by the pressure washer and we'll spray it before we put it up. We're not going to put it up today either. Right. Dang, Jimmy. Twenty minutes trying to get the harvester unstuck because he can't go straight down the dang road. Yeah, this grass will be ready probably January. We'll probably still be able to cut it too. I don't know. It's going to be pretty cold in January. December looking good though. If we can get a spray and we get another get another month out of it another another two weeks out of it we'll be ready to cut I think so that'll be good that guy now I gotta come over and clean all this up myself All right, let's drop this sucker on the ground and just see what see what's going on here. Detach hoses, drop that. Put it on, let's put it on the. It shouldn't really matter what it goes on. Let me leave that sitting there a minute. Let's go unhook this trailer. I think it's, it's still got grain in it. That's all right though. Uh, let's drop this guy. I'm gonna need it in a few minutes, but I'll drop that right there. See if this picks up with this thing. If it does it with this, and you have to dump it, that would make sense, right? 
pick it up and dump it forward or whatever that would make sense so maybe that's the case i don't know i doubt it though it doesn't look like it's got a yeah it doesn't attach to that okay well i can do the rest of the job with the jd we may do that too though leave the bell trailer in one place we'll just run the bells back over to it go huh okay when I mean, you see this thing's pretty old it looks like he's it looks like he refurbed it but how does it work that's the question unfold so that's unfolded right there i wonder if you do have to set the bales on this sucker i bet you do i bet you do if that's the case i'm gonna want it on the back of the massey and we'll use the massey just to wrap them i bet that's what it is i want to pick them sun guns up twice i think set them on there and then stack them but uh by the time we're done running around we leave that thing in one place by the time we're done running around. Let's take one down there with the Massey. We'll put it... We'll put, we'll, let's take it down there with the Massey. We'll bring the John Deere down. We're going to need them both down there at some point anyway, I'm sure. Uh, and we'll see if that's the case. We'll just put it on the back here. There we go. All right. Let's go back down. And we'll bring the John Deere down and just see... If that's what's going on here, if you have to set it up there, I bet you do. I bet you got to set it. You probably lower it and then stack your bail on it, and then it wraps and throws it off. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully that's the case. I'm going to go straight down the field line here. Uh, our neighbor ain't doing much with this field right now, no way. So just easier. And you've got to get on the road. Yeah, that $200 wage payment, Jimmy, that ain't gonna stand. That ain't gonna stand at all, sir. Not even a little bit. Yeah, I bet you gotta stack them on here. I bet that's the thing. Which is fine, because, I mean, they're all gonna have to stack on the trailer regardless, so. I gotta stack them all on this first. That, I mean, I guess that's... Just handling them twice, which I don't like doing, but we saved a ton of money like this, so. $2,000 for this little bell wrapper right here. If we can stack them all right here, this would be good. Dump them all right there. All right, let's lower that down. Now let's go back and get to John Deere and come down here and see if that's what's going on. I hope it is. I hope that's the case. If not, then we're going to have to go grab another bell wrapper and spend $22,000, which I don't want to do. Maybe even more than that. I don't know. No, this one does 125 round bells. Yeah, so 22,000 uh, to make 19. <laughs> I like that action. We got to spend 22,000 to make 19,000 off this contract. Crazy, right? What's up, Bone? How's it going, buddy? Mind driving in my grass field. Don't want to get in the neighbors, though. I'm curious. I bet that's what's going on here. I bet we have to wrap it. Uh, set it on the wrapper, anyway. What in the world? Was somebody throwing stuff at me? Did y'all see that? Crazy people. All right. Let's see if this is going to work or not. Anybody taking bets here? Because I don't know. I don't know how this works. Uh-huh. Got to have it hooked to a tractor. Ain't that something? It's supposed to, it's supposed to automatically drop it off there. So let's see. Make sure. Is 
Is it just gonna keep going or? There we go. That's it. So yeah, we're just gonna have to we'll have to load every one of them. Oh, didn't mean to do that. We'll have to load them all, I reckon. I'll start grabbing them with other forks, though. Though I think. There we go. Oh boy, that wrapper right there is gonna be fun. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work right there. Killing time building a warehouse. I hear you. Oh, didn't mean to dump it. Let's try it again. There we go. That's what I was trying to do with it. You can feel that sucker kick forward, can't you? Bells ain't even that heavy. All right, how's it going to do this if we keep stacking them? Let's see what happens. Gonna push them back. Hopefully, to keep pushing them back, that's what we want. About time some work got done around here, dude. I tell you what, man, this right here is gonna be brutal. All right, right there, that works. Okay, just go all the way down with it because it doesn't really matter. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a hill right there, man. It almost slung us out of the tractor. Okay. Bring that up a little bit and then ease over here to it. There we go. And I guess I could do this. I could bring one back too. Oh, and they're already silage. We don't have to wait on them to ferment? Really? That can't be right. Oh, because it's a contract, I bet. That's probably why. All right, how many can we get on this little trailer here now without it flipping over? Because that's going to be the key thing. Let's go see how close that is. Oh, it's only one wide. All right, so we can only get whatever amount uh, that will go forward here. And... Okay, good. I had to say, if that tips over, we're in trouble. It did not tip over, though. Uh, let's grab it this way, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, this is, uh, this is a problem. This is going to take us a while. Hey, I said pick up. What you doing? There we go. Set this one down now. it pretty close there all right this is not the most efficient way but it is the cheapest cheapest option we had and it looks like we're only gonna get four on here on the bottom row I was hoping to get five but I don't think we are whoa whoa easy Easy there. That's about as high as I want to pick those up, I think. Ease it down now. Okay. Uh, that was weird. Yeah, I think we're only going to get four on there. This is, again, a problem. We go four, three, two. That'd be four, seven, nine, ten. Yeah, we can get ten on here, I think. Uh, let me go ahead and try to get ten on there. Yeah, I'm gonna see how high we can stack them. Uh, so hopefully, pretty, pretty high here. Find my, find my median here. Yep. Yeah, hopefully we can stack them pretty high, cause that would be good. Whoa! Dang, I forgot about how bad that is right there. Take it easy right here on this area. Dang, drop off. It's a gully. Like this field washed out or something at some point.
had to give me a run and go. Yeah, it wanted to give me a weight. I got a weight. I need to put it back on the back of this thing. Woo! Easy. Thought I was supposed to be flat. Some of us got some pretty decent heels, man. It's pretty crazy, so. Okay, there we go. That one. There's that one. We're going to do a full trailer load just to see. I mean, it's going to take us some dang time, that's for sure. It's going to take us some time. But again, tomorrow we'll probably mix this with... Uh, we'll mix this up with some... Uh, spraying and some crop care, maybe. Not crop care, grass care. Because we need, we need to spray, so... Oh, I forgot the spikes on this are pretty wide. These are small bales. Come on, we gotta grab that before that bale gets done. Got it. Okay. No! No, no. Why'd you fall? What are you doing? Okay, there we go. Now. Now then. Be pretty close right here. We we'll use a lot of fuel in that mass he's sitting there running, but having to handle these twice, I feel like this is the best way to do it. So, go ahead and throw a strap over those, shall we? There we go. All right, what do we need? One, two, three, four more, probably. All right, let's go grab some of these that are way over here. Uh, especially the ones right over here in this gully. I think this is the last one. I'm gonna spin around the other way, actually. Oof, that is a drop right there. That's a big drop. All right, I think I'm just gonna go one at a time, because by the time I get back with one, the other, this one should be wrapped. So, whoa. We're going to need our weight uh, to finish these, I think. It's probably going to have to happen. I like the wrapper, though. It's pretty neat, man. For $2,000, it's hard to beat, really. I know it takes a lot of extra work, and it's a lot of stuff, but at the same time, you know, is it really that big a deal? We're going to be sitting in the tractor doing something. We might as well be making some good money and get us some grass bales and some silage bales out of the deal because I'm probably going to keep a couple uh, once we deliver all that Mr. Richard wanted there for him. I'm not going to wrap them all before I start taking them. So that means I'll know <clears throat> I'll know what we have. Oh, God, I forgot. Oh, whew, that was close. Uh, we'll know how many we have left uh, before... Uh, before I wrap them all, because doing it like this, I'm having to load them and then take them. So, like, I'm not just gonna, I'm not just gonna keep wrapping bales. Uh, I'll take one load at a time, and then Richard will have what he has, and then we'll have some left over, hopefully. So it should work out for everybody, really. That's the goal, anyway. Why are you trying to fall off there? Oh, I see. I was trying to pull a jimmy. There go. Wrap that down now. I'll we'll have to restrap in a minute. That's all right. I know that one's done, but I'm going to grab another one. That way it can be, uh, it can be wrapping.
Oh, we split it. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the house and grab the weight at some point, which would be fine. That would be easy enough to do. Oh, we did it again. The forks on this thing are pretty wide, so we're trying to... Make sure I hit the center of it there. There we go. Problem with this, I'm not gonna be able to see once I get to a certain point, so. Uh, and I do not do well stacking in third person, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's probably one reason I don't do well stacking in first person either. My forks are always tilted way too dang far. Oh, I did not mean to unwrap that. I mean, I guess that's good, though. It's unwrapped now. Sorry about that, uh, Richard. Didn't mean to unwrap your silage, Bill. I don't know if we can get one more on top or not. Maybe taking nine at a time. We might be able to. We might not. I don't think we will, though. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. No! We're too far. That's, really, that's what I'm saying right there. Depth perception is not my thing. Hold it, Jimmy. Did it fall? Okay, good. At least it felt like that anyway. I like stick it in there and pick it up. Oh, come on now. I'll switch back to this. No. Oh my god, this is going to be frustrating getting this top bail on here, I think. Do not stack well in third person. Just fall right into place. Don't you fall off there. Strap it in, quick. Turn the Massey off now. Shoo, look at all them bales to go. To put a strap on this one before it falls. There we go. All right, we'll go deliver these. The good thing is they get delivered right down here at the, uh, the biogas. So that's good. All right, let's see how bad this is gonna be to pull. 31,500, that's not bad. 31,500 liters. We got to do 180. How much, Richard, did you say? What was on the contract? You said 186,000. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Control Z. What does Control Z do? I don't know what Control Z does. I noticed you have a bell grabber at the farm. Think that would work any better? No. No. I'm terrible with the bell grab, Bob. That's the reason I'm kind of breaking, uh, breaking the realism here by puncturing it. Control Z is the undo. Oh, I'm gonna see if it'll still sell. If it doesn't, I need the silage anyway, so I'm good with it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need something that holds more bales. Uh, I like the bell trailer though. And I think I could probably squeeze one more in the front if I wanted to. I definitely could. I could squeeze one more half row. Uh, so we could do, what is that, 9, 10, 11. We could probably put 11, 12 on here. But we may try that next time. We'll try, tomorrow we'll try 12 bales. 
They may not like pulling it, but we can put them on here. Just got to run down to the biogas. Some deer crossing the road. Oh, God. Look out for the deer. Ooh, we almost killed that guy. I'm flying around the current corner like that. Oh, he's stopping for the deer. Look at him. Good on him. Don't blow your horn at the deer. What's wrong with you? Yeah, it's fine. If it doesn't sell, I'll keep it. Because we're going to end up with a few of these left over anyway for us. So, Or if it doesn't take it. It's just, it's good that we don't have to go all the way around to like the animal sell point or something to sell these. That would add about four minutes to my 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 time here uh, per trip, so or four minutes one way, so about about seven probably about seven minutes both ways to my to my time on the field. And time is money, so I'm already wrapping small bales and and you know do it handling them twice too, so. I like the little wrapper though, it makes sense. It makes sense. You lower it down, set the bell on it, and good to go. Biogas over here across from the railroad tracks. See if we can find where we get rid of these now. I think that's where Richard said he wanted them taken. Take them to the biogas plant. Yeah, okay. We're good. Biogas plant it is. That is not the straightest stack ever, but uh, you know what? It's all on there. It's strapped in. If it'll strap, it'll ride, right? That's what I've always heard. Well, look at the tires. They're almost flat on this thing. Not good. All right, where does this go? Right here, probably? Probably right here. Yeah, probably right there. Sixteen percent transported. Sweet. All right, cool. So that's sixteen percent. Field is thirty percent done. The so one load is 16%. That means we're going to need about six loads. About six loads of bales. That's not too bad. That's not too terribly bad at all. 155,000 left. Yeah, that's not too bad. So it took it. Doesn't matter if it's wrapped or unwrapped. It's okay. The so six loads of roughly nine bales will get us there, but if I can get 11, 12, possibly even 13 on there, oh no, sorry, it'd be eight loads. Uh, no, four loads would be 60, right? 15, 30. 45, 60, that's four loads. Uh, and I don't quite need four loads the second time around. We'll need 30% roughly, so it'll be about be about six and a half loads. But if I can get 11, 12 on there, that'll cut down the amount of loads we need to take. So, just saying, I might be able to do it with, with four and a half more trips. So, uh, and that leaves us tons of bells, if that's the case. We're gonna have a lot of bells left out here, folks. A lot. A lot, a lot of bells left. That's what I said, six and some change, six and a half. But if I can get more bells net on there though, we're gonna cut it down a bunch. And that's that's the plan. We're gonna try to get more bells in there. We're trying to get 11 on here. Uh, nine, 10, 11, maybe even 12. Maybe even 12 on here. I don't know if that'll work or not, but uh, let's see. I want this, probably want this trailer right here again. That was a pretty good spot for it, so. But there we go. I'm calling it a day, folks. I appreciate you for watching. Thanks so very much for being here, as always. Uh, remember, if you're watching this later on YouTube, these are live streamed on Twitch. And if you're watching on Twitch, you're going to go back and catch the entire series. Uh, check out my link tree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Deuces Xmas Point link tree in chat. Uh, we'll get you there. You can find the Deuces VOD channel. Call it Farmer Deuce. Uh, all of my farm sim from Elm Creek number one, Farm Sim 22, all the way to now is on there. Uh, with a little bit of uh, Farm Sim Network mixed in. I do have a community server I play on on YouTube on Fridays, uh, and then on YouTube on my main channel, on YouTube on my main channel, and on main channel, uh, Monday through Friday, I do all kind of different stuff. So today we did uh, some con construction sim, yesterday we did, what did we play yesterday? Food truck simulator. 
Uh, and then tomorrow we're going to be checking out Call of the Wild Angler again because it was a big water update. We'll see if they fixed any of that. So it should be fun. Thursday, we'll probably be playing something else. Uh, I think the tenants had an update. 1.0 release, we'll be checking that out. Uh, and then uh, Friday, of course, back on the community server. So I appreciate you guys. I will see you all next time. Later, folks.